Thank you, Avril. Thank you also and your people for the wonderful uh, uh, promotion that you give to the Caribbean and, and to all that is good about the Caribbean. Thank you so much. Why are we fortunate? Because this young lady represents Caribbean youth and she's working with CTO this week and she's able to learn about what we have to teach from a public relations standpoint but teach us what her people and what the young people of today can do and teach all of us about how do we move forward in society, how do we move forward in promoting tourism yet protecting our sustainability. Can you tell the people who's watching the Avril show your name? Charissa Fleming and I'm from St. Kitts. Where in St. Kitts are you from? All world. And what do you do here in New York? I'm an intern at CTU. Wow. What is CTU? The Caribbean Tourism Organization. Okay. And how long have you been there? Just two weeks and I'll be there for five months. And tell them who you're standing next to. <laughs> My Prime Minister, Dr. Denzel Douglas. Of? St. Kitts and Nevis. That's how we do it. We represent. <laughs> so the Honorable, the Doctor, we call him so many names because he's known for many things, not just the Prime Minister, but the doctor who's been taking care of us for many years before we know him to be a Prime Minister. Thank you, Avril, for this lovely opportunity once again to greet um, the people of St. Kitts and Nevis in New York and to greet all of the Caribbean people and all of the American people here in the beautiful New York City. It's really a wonderful experience once again to be here, especially on this special um, occasion when we are part of a simple ceremony by CTO to commemorate the, um, the heritage and the contribution that um, Alexander Hamilton has made in the development of not only the American way of life, but also the Caribbean way of life. And you hear, there is so much traffic in the background. We're in the busy part of Manhattan. And we're here with our Prime Minister, my Prime Minister, the people of St. Kitts Nevis. We are so proud to be here today. The Honorable Dr. Denzel Douglas, it's always a pleasure seeing you. And you know what? I take a page out of your book. <laughs> I will. I am delighted that I have been able to influence you in some positive way and you would never understand how much you have also continued to influence us back in St. Kitts and Nevis here, from here in New York with your tremendous expertise and your professional communication skills here in New York City. Thank you so much. You hear it here and once you hear it on the Avril show you know it's absolutely genuine. Thank you so much. Thank you Avril. You have a great day. Yeah. Okay we know the wind is blowing it's a crazy day here in Manhattan, but it's a lovely day. Caribbean Make, weather. That's right. It's Caribbean weather, and we have the people of St. Kitts here representing it. So it's a proven fact that it's a beautiful day. Because guess who I'm standing next to? You know what? I don't want to boast too much. They're going to say, Avril, you're too boasty on television. So I'm going to let this man introduce himself to you and tell you the reason that he's in New York and also what he does in St. Kitts. Hi, New York. Uh, Ricky Skerritt. Minister of Tourism and International Transport from St. Kitts and Nevis, but also here as Chairman of the Caribbean Tourism Organization, Council of Ministers and Commissioners. And we're celebrating Caribbean American Heritage Month and CTO Week in New York, and we thought that it would be appropriate to just pinpoint the fact that one of the great founding fathers of America, Alexander Hamilton, actually was born and grew up in Nevis. Came here as a young student and uh, the rest is history as we say and has uh, been considered to be the greatest immigrant so to speak but there have been so many millions of immigrants from the Caribbean since him so many who have had such a very positive and outstanding impact on the development of the American dream so we are really here today for symbolic reasons and we raise the Senkis and Nevis flag again symbolically on behalf of the Caribbean
praise the Senki Zaniva's flag, again symbolically on behalf of the Caribbean. We don't have a Caribbean nation flag yet. And our Prime Minister who raised it is the incoming Chairman of CARICOM. Hi, this is Rebecca King Cruz, and you're watching the Avril Show. And you're watching the Avril Show. <laughs> 